Hello everyone and welcome to the One Class channel. My name is Donna Riel and I'm a recent master's graduate in the Material Science program from the University of Ontario Institute of Technology, also known as Ontario Tech University. So today we're going to go over some commonly asked questions in chemistry at the high school, college, and university level. So if you had any problems with homework or tutoring, check out the links in the description below. So let's get started on our questions for today's session. Okay, so I'm not sure if you can read it, but I'll just read it out loud. Match the following properties of liquids to what they indicate about the relative strength of the intermolecular forces in that liquid. And then they want me to just sort out what are the causes of strong intermolecular intermolecular forces and what are the causes of weak inter intermolecular forces. So let me just write down the definition of the two. Strong and I'll just make like a comparison table. So basically, when you have strong intermolecular forces in the liquid, that means that you have very strong bonds that are present in the liquid. And then on the other hand, for the weak intermolecular forces, that means you have weak bonds. So then if you try to think about the properties of liquids that have strong bonds, they're much harder to boil since they're stronger. So they have high boiling points. Uh, they also have high surface tension. And lastly, they also have high viscosity. And the only property of liquid that is in the weak intermolecular forces section would just be the high vapor pressure. Okay, so let's check out the answer from our junior tutor. Strong, high surface tension, high boiling point, and high viscosity. Weak, high vapor pressure. So this solution is correct. Okay, so let's...